How is everybody doing? Hey, look, there's Tuffy. And I just want to say hi. How are you good? Don't drink too much water. As long as it's cold, you'll drink it. Man. We should do another Bible reading in advance. Yeah. That's what we should do. Right? <laughs> you good boy. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do another Bible reading. Tuffy can drink the water that he wants. He generally knows not to overindulge. He learned that lesson a long time ago. And I think that. Ah, uh, thank, ah, uh, thank, Tuffy. Did you do God is merciful? No, that was, we did God is holy. So, we're doing God is merciful, then God is all powerful, then God is everywhere. So, this is what we're going to do. You listening? Because I noticed every time Every time you do listens. Do I need to move the water bowl? Okay. So, this comes from Psalms chapter 123, verse 1 through 4. God is merciful. I lift my eyes to you, the one enthroned in heaven, like a servant like a servant's eyes on his master's hand. Like a servant's girl's eyes on her mistress's hand. So her eyes are on the Lord, our God, until he shows us favor. Show us favor, Lord, show us favor. For we've had more than enough contempt. We've had more than enough scorn from the arrogant and contempt from the proud. Again, that comes from Psalm chapter 123, verse 1 through 4. Second part is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 through 5. And you were dead in your trespasses and sins in which you previously walked according to the worldly age. According to the ruler of the atmospheric domain, the spirit now working in the disobedient, we too all previously lived among them in our fleshly desires, carrying out the inclinations of our flesh and thoughts, and by nature we're children under wrath, as others were also. But God, who is abundant in mercy, because of his great love he had for us, made us alive with the Messiah, even though we were dead in trespasses. By grace, you are saved. And the related texts are Exodus chapter 33, verse 19, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 31. Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 29 through 31 Micah chapter 7 verse 18 through 20 and Romans chapter 9 verse 11 through 18 Now as a lot of people understand Jehovah is another name for Jesus Jehovah was one of the common names used for God during Old Testament times Jehovah was referred to as God's personal name. The name Jehovah is actually the English word used to translate and pronounce God's Hebrew name, Yahweh, Yahweh ha, I don't know how to say that word, Y-H-W-H. -H. The word Y-H-W-H -H has no vowels and is better enunciated. En as Yahweh, I, I still don't know how to say it properly. 
Y A H W E H rather than Jehovah. God is given several different names throughout the Bible, though his names may have changed over time. His character, his abilities, and the way in which he loves his creation has stayed consistent. The truth is worthy of your celebration today. And that concludes the reading. If you made it this far, congratulations. I hope we all learned something. Right, Tuff? You were listening? And I like to bring inspiration and know how and smiling and hopefully Tuffy drinks a little bit more water. I know he does from time to time, especially when it's cold water. Please hit that pop button. Please go ahead and subscribe if you're new. I'm confident that we're all in this together. The world is ever changing. And I want you to know that I am with you. Uh, and I will not back down if it's the right thing. Unless it's the right thing to do for the moment in time and then you come back and well and fight it again it just all depends on the circumstances and <laughs> toughy I know I love you buddy I love my dog I know this pollen and humidity is driving me nutsos, buddy, buddy. It is. So we're going to conclude this before I decide to sneeze and have some more sniffles. So, what, you have something to say? You got something to say. Okay. That's it. He don't got nothing to say, except he says, I am so cute. Dad, check this out. I'm the dog. Yeah, you're the dog. You're the dog and you deserve so much. Either we're going to get a truck show, Tuffy, and or we're going to get a house and you your own backyard so I can just toss you in the backyard leave you all day in the backyard and you'll be like sitting by the back door like seriously dad dog not supposed to be outside very long you can find a way in oh give me that look I wouldn't dare put you outside all day especially in the heat besides when I go outside, I like to be outside with you. Yeah. Did we tell everyone that you're so cute? Oh, wait. I forgot. I forgot to hit the uh, stop recording button. <laughs> you're so cute, Tuffy. All right, y'all take care. Stay safe. And until next time. Enjoy life. Smile. It really does help. <laughs>